What's up, tech fans? Good morning. It's 6 a.m. here at Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and guess what? That's right, you've waited for it. And for those fans out there who like NVIDIA, the new GTX 660 is now launching. It's launch day, and I'm going to do the unboxing of the new PNY GTX 660. That's right. This is one of their performance series cards. Let's jump in now, and let's do the unboxing and see what comes in this nice little box from the people at uh, PNY. Let's go. All right, folks, so I got the card right here. You can see it's got a plastic wrapper. Now, I could not find a small knife. So we're gonna have to use this extra large one here. So we'll take that right here. Get that up the camera so you guys can see that. Go ahead and unstrip that baby down. Here's the front of the box. Spin this bad boy around to the back of the box. Very easily removed right here at the cameraman. Oh, hit him on the head and you can hear it fall on the floor. Fun stuff, fun stuff. All right, so here's the box. Very sturdy box, as you guys can see. Should be simple enough to open up here. Let's see how this bad boy goes. Let's see here. There are a couple tabs here on the end, so we just gotta get the tab right. Pop the cap, falls off there. I'll just let that sit on the floor for a second. Now, the card's gonna be pretty trippy when it comes out of the box. So, let me get this up here, because last time all the stuff's in the bottom, so I make sure I don't make the same mistake twice. So, voila, here we have what comes inside here. It's going to be the driver's CD, and this looks pretty early, because check it out. It's like, you know, in a CD you get the CD swap meet. No, I'm just kidding, just poking some fun at the guys at PNY. Don't get mad, Jay. Throw it off to the side. So in here, let me set the card down. Get it out of the camera range. I'll open this little baggie up right here. Open it up. Inside of the baggie, we see Molex to six pin, DVI to VGA, and finally the user's manual. And it actually has a bunch of stuff in here to install low profile stuff. So I guess they have the options for a bracket for low profile. So let me set that off to the side. Now let's get to the heart of the matter. This is the card. You can see it's got its own little plastic shelf here. Let me get this little thing out of here. It'll be a little tab here. And then move that out without dropping the card on the floor. Woo! Tricky stuff to balance in camera range, right, folks? That's right. Got to be professional. So we're going to get this stuff out of the way. Show you guys the back of the card first. You can see the blue PCB. I know some people out there are going to go, oh, I hate the blue PCB, man. Doesn't matter. Don't do things based on color, man. Flip the card around. Show you guys the front. I can tell you some basic stuff. Two gigabytes of memory. That's right. 192 bit memory interface. But if you guys want to actually see the full review of this card after this unboxing, I did a full review over on Tech of Tomorrow. So when you guys are done checking out this, you guys can check out the full review over on Tech of Tomorrow. So here's a rear angle of the card. Flip it around, show you guys the I.O. You guys can see this different color coordinate in this card. You're supposed to be able to support four monitors off this card. We'll have to see if it actually does that. Two DVI, HDMI, display port. You guys see it's got a single fan, the blower design. This card should run pretty cool. Last time I ran, the reference card actually did not run that much different than the overcooled card. Now the overcooled card's overclocked better, but that was really about it. So this one's entirely based on the reference design. Single six pin connectors you guys can see up here. And that's pretty much it, folks. That's everything that comes in the box. Like I said before, if you guys want to read more about the whole review, see how it played in games and everything, please check out the link in the description below and go read my full review over on www.techoftomorrow. Love you. See you guys later today.